Do you have a good break? Mm-hmm. You stay in Dublin? Not long enough. Not long enough to breathe. Uh, did you stay in Dublin though? Yeah. Yeah. So he. Yeah. Patrick, yeah. stay here. Yeah. Okay. So the first question: What is the maximum kinetic energy you could have? Uh, does anybody know their math? You know yours? Yeah, 50, 50 to 54 is a big range. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing great in my stuff, and I think it's a lot here, so... We'll go with 54 then? Yeah. Okay, right. So, um, what's the fastest you think you could run at? Uh, like, how many meters per second can you imagine? And bear in mind, uh, the same boat... <laughs> 100 meters? Mm-hmm. You think you can still do that? No. With the extra 4 <laughs> kilograms? No, we're not, we're not, we're not. Uh, what would you say? Uh, 15 no. seconds? Mm-hmm. Probably. <laughs> okay, so you can run um, 6.67 meters per second. So we'll say 6.7 is your speed. Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's see how much kinetic energy you have why, uh, to get you to run. So that is one two one two joules, or that's one point two kilo joules. Everybody's answer will be a little bit different. So, for example, I can't run as fast as this, but I have more of a mass. Which do you think is more important for your kinetic energy, your mass or your velocity? Velocity, velocity because squared. it's squared. So it's more important how fast you can run rather than how big you are. Okay. Uh, what answer did you get when you estimated it? Did you get something similar? What did you get, Sophie? Oh, you didn't do this one? Okay. Next one, number two. Um, teacher drops his coffee cup out the window. Alright, so here I have my cup and it falls 10 meters. The energy here, kinetic or potential? Potential. MGH. The energy here, kinetic or potential? Kinetic only. A half mv squared. But they must be equal. So you get 10 mg must equal a half m v squared. So v must equal square root of 20 g, which is a number 14. Okay. Yeah. Next. Um, a roller coaster. Yeah. So you have your roller coaster, and it's up the top here, and then it goes down here. And this distance here is 100 meters. And here's the roller coaster. Now, for roller coasters, usually, usually at the top, it's not really moving. You know, you've been on roller coasters before, so usually when you get to the top, you go very slow and then you fall down. So again, the potential energy here should equal the kinetic energy here. So you have a half, no, sorry. MGH equals a half MB squared. So in this one you would get um, <coughs> V is 44.3 meters per second here. You got that? Yeah? Okay. Um, 
1200 kilogram car 120 kilometers an hour what's the kinetic energy so you've got your car so its velocity is 120 kilometers per hour which is 33.3 meters per second the, uh, the mass, uh, what did I say the mass was? 1200 was it? so the kinetic energy which is a half mv squared is a big number 666667 joules or if you want it's 0 0.67 mega joules so it's a lot of energy a lot of energy nearly you know maybe a mega joule a million joules time finishing your breakfast. Come on. Good afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I saw you in the canteen like 20 minutes ago. What took so long? Yeah. 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 20 minutes to eat my sausage. Took you 20 minutes to eat a sausage? Yes. My goodness. Welcome back. <laughs> I would like to say it's good to see you, but I won't say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um, that's part A. Part B. Does anybody know the answer? So when the car stops, where does this kinetic energy go? So here you have the car, and it has 0 0.67 megajoules, and then when it stops, it has zero joules. So where did this energy go? Any ideas? Yeah, where? No. Yeah, but where does the heat come out of the car? Oh, the, the, the engine. No, not the engine, no. Uh, yeah, but where? What part of the car? Oh, the tires. Uh, you can give me the exact part, in fact. Uh, the part. The front <laughs> The kinetic energy is this much. Agreed? Yeah. When the car stops, its kinetic energy is this much. Mm -hmm. So where oh, did the pads. the brake pads, the brake pads, the brake pads that stop the wheel, they get hot. They get very, very hot. Let me show you. Do you know the brake pads, the part of the car that touches the wheel to make it stop? Yes. They get extremely hot. Extremely hot. Um, I think I can get a video of it. Because I saw a video of this before. Okay, so... Brake pads... Um, uncooled maybe? No. Brake pads heating up. Yeah. Okay. Videos. Uh. Right. This. This could do. Yeah, let's try this one. So this is the brake pad of the car. Uh, so 
have the wheel turning. Let's jump to the good part. Oh, that I'm going to show you. Ugh. Waste. See, I need I need something. Ah, no. Anyway, uh, the video I saw, um, the brake pads get really, really hot and smoke starts to come out. So then the question is, why doesn't this happen when you're driving the car? Why doesn't smoke come out when you're driving? No, not that. No, not that. Because the reason is when they make the car, and here's the brake pads. Um, they design it so that the air that goes into the front passes through the brake pads so when the brake pads get really really hot the air just uh, cools them down and the heat comes out of the back of the car from the brake pads so if you take this brake pad out of the car and just put it into the classroom so if we have the brake pad here and it's spinning really fast and I put the brake on it there's no air to cool it down so you'll start to see the smoke coming out okay so they get really hot. So um, it's important that the front of the car is kept clean so the air can go through it. Because if it doesn't, then the brake pads overheat. Okay. So that's where all the energy goes. It goes into the brake pads, making the brake pads hot. So that's a waste of energy. Um, now I don't know if it's two words, one word, or a hyphen. So it's either going to be brake pad. Yeah, B O. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I wrote like brake pad. Uh, B O A K E. It's either going to be brake pad, or it could be two words, or it might even have a hyphen. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I did, but it didn't show up yet. Let me try it again. There we go. <coughs> uh, I'm not sure, Amanda, which which is the one we use. Um, I think it's one word. I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah, there at the front of the car, um, there's a grill. You know what I mean by grill? No. <laughs> and when the car's driving, the air goes into the grill. But I'll I'll get the picture. It'll be easier. Um. Okay. So the next one, while that's loading, a 50 gram weight is hanging. Pench. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I need to draw that one. Same thing. Uh, car. Wait, why it ah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not that important. It's just a cool video. Um, see this part of the car, I think, at the front. This is where the air goes in. Um, don't see any more. This is the grill. I think this is where the air comes into the car. Okay, uh, next one now. So you've got a pendulum and it's one meter and the mass is 50. So 0 0.050 and the angle here is 
10 degrees. So who can tell me how big this is? How big this is? And then uh, it can swing down to here. Well, uh, I think it's clear how big it is. How big is it from here to here? Here to here? How big? What's the total distance here? Yeah, one meter. Does anybody know what this distance is? Uh. It's like the triangle. It'll be one cos ten. Yeah? So one cos ten, let's calculate that. That is zero point nine eight. So this is zero point nine eight of a meter. So therefore how big is this distance here? Zero point zero two of a meter. Okay, so write that so far. I think I said it's yeah. one in the question, yeah. And it's like a triangle. Where this is the right angle, and this is uh, x, and this is the theta, and this side here is x cos theta, and this one here is x sine theta. It's like what we did before, but it's just turned. Got that? Okay. So what energy does it have here? Kinetic or potential? Here. Here? Potential. And here? Kinetic. So you can have mgh must equal a half mv squared. Now in fact, I didn't need to tell you the M because they can cancel. Do you know the H? What's the H? Ah, no. The H is 1. 0 0.98? No. 0 0.02 because this is the ground and this is the height. Ah, yes. Uh, a half v squared. So the v equals um, 0 0.63 about meters per second. Hot chocolate? No. Americano? Cappuccino? Mm -hmm. Tea? And yours, Amanda? Two T's. Two okay. Because the being repaired. Okay, next question? No. no. So I didn't need to tell you the math. Wasn't necessary. No, pay for this time. Well, I can do it on the laptop, but no. I think people will prefer paper. paper. So I'm going to give you, um, for your exam, I think when is it? Thursday? When's your physics exam? Connell emailed yeah, you, didn't it's you? It's Thursday. Thursday, yeah. So I'll give you... Um, maybe. Um, I'll give you some some small questions and then one big question. So I'll give you like four small questions and then one long question. Yeah, is, is, uh, is this coming up? Everything. Is this going to be Everything. <laughs> Everything before the test could be on the test. Yeah. Any, any tips? Tips? Study. <laughs> No other tips other than study. Okay, can I do the next one now? Um, I might throw in, you know, 
like one small part of the question that could say what is the definition of blank but mostly calculation questions yeah. okay six uh, water is pumped up a 10 meter building from one tank at a constant rate of 2 kilograms per second into another tank. What are the energies at ground level and roof level of the water? How fast is the water being pumped? The water got its kinetic energy from the pump, therefore per second how much work is the pump doing? Okay. The last one's a little tricky. But a good drawing will help you picture it. So you've got one tank of water here, and then you've got another tank of water here, uh, and then, oh my goodness, and then this distance here is 10 meters, and you've got your water here, and then the water is going here, and the pipe takes the water here, along here, up here, and then. Oh, well, oh, you get the idea. You get the idea. And then the water goes in here. Uh, per second, how much water is traveling? Two kilograms. Yeah? So it was two kilograms per second. So the way I picture this in my mind is I picture it like two kilogram balls of water moving along. Each of these is two kilograms. And how much comes out per second? Two kilograms. So it's like one ball of water per second. Now, what is the energy of the water in this tank? So, for example, imagine you have a two kilogram blob of water here. What's its energy here? Is it kinetic? Is it potential? Energy. Not quite, because it's on the ground. There's no energy. It's on the ground and it's not moving. Zero joules. Now, when the water makes it up here, what's its energy? Kinetic or potential? Yeah. Well, potential, I mean, it was moving, but then when it hits the tank, you know, so it's just sitting up there. So it's potential MGH. Now, we know the M, we know the G, and we know the H. So the energy for this ball of water, 2 times 9.81 times 10, and you get... 196.2 joules. Huh? Two. These are all two kilogram balls. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm looking at what happens per second. So I'm picturing it like there's a two kilogram ball of water moving along each second. It's the easiest way to picture it. Bad tea? Yes. No, no. Really? Better tea than Starbucks? Oh, okay. Alright, is that clear so far? Yeah, so the question is the energies. We've done that. How fast is the water being pumped? Yeah, sorry, I mean the speed, the V. Now, this is the trick, okay? Um, here the water's at rest, but here the water starts to move. Yes, yeah. so the kinetic energy here. Yeah. yeah, now somebody tell me um, why is why do we think about the V being the same? Like, why is the V, why do we think of it being the same? Or Yeah, well, it can get a bit complicated, but in other words, if the water doesn't travel fast enough here, then it will start to, you know, build up in the pipe. So in other words, um, no, it doesn't matter. In other words, here you have a half mv squared, and what should that equal? Mg. Mgh, uh, which you know. 
So you can get uh, a half times 2 times v squared equals 196.2. So v is that. So you get 14 meters per second. Yeah? Okay, can I go down? Yes? So, look at what's happening here. The water starts off its life with no energy. Then there's a pump. And then after the pump, the water has a speed. So what type of energy does it have? Kinetic energy. And then after it has kinetic energy and it's in the tank at the top of the building, what energy does it have? Potential energy. So here the energy is 196.2. The kinetic energy, 196.2. But here there's no energy. So how can this equal 196.2? Well, it's because the pump gives it energy. The pump does work. So how much energy does the pump give the water? Must be 196.2 because the water doesn't have any energy. So per second, the pump did 196.2 joules per second. So the power of the pump is 196.2 watts. Remember, we did this, yeah, joule per second. Did we do power? Yeah. yeah, we did at the end. I remember now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next homework.